Last night, I had a dream about getting on an elevator going up in an empty building. The elevator started to go a little bit backwards, and I hoped when the doors opened, I would be on the floor I wanted to be on, which was the floor where my grandma lives. Suddenly, the elevator came crashing to the ground level very hard and landed with a thud. I walked to a room on the ground floor that was very clean because no one was there. It was a cozy room, like one you might see in a hotel that serves a nice continental breakfast every morning. In fact, it looked like that was exactly what the room was made for, with small tables and items used to perhaps eat a pastry and some juice, while enjoying a perfect balance between quietness and fellowship. Later, I dreamed about Mickey Mouse going outside of Disneyland for the children. He gave a demonstration on how he was made, showing the eyeballs inside of his head were made of candy for the children and not made of rocks, which would be a bit disappointing for the children if they were expecting candy. The first dream is about the rapture at first, a building that is empty without people an elevator transporting people upwards. The floor where my grandma lives, which is actually now heaven since she has passed away. But the dream suddenly changed with the elevator going backwards and coming down hard, harder than before. I relate with my brothers and sisters, watchmen and watchwomen waiting for the rapture because we are all so hoping that all that this is going on right now in the world will end on the the floor we want it to on my grandma's floor in heaven. But whenever we get our hopes up too high, we come down hard, come crashing down hard, and everything's so intense right now, people may come down harder than before if the doors don't open to heaven and they don't end up there as soon as they would like. But the ground floor still has hope for life. The little room of fellowship is a place where sweet, quiet, interaction can take place. It is full of peace and cleanliness and nourishment and fullness. And the dream about Mickey Mouse bringing candy and not stones is the highlight. Which of you, if in this little breakfast room your son or daughter asked you for some bread, you would bring him or her a stone? And even more so, your Father God in heaven will give good gifts to you for the asking. Ask your Father God for what you need, for what you want. Is it peace? Is it joy? Is it hope? Seek our Father God and you will find. For everyone who asks receives. Anyone who seeks finds. Our Father God invites you to sweet fellowship with Him by talking to Him as a trusted friend through prayer and presenting your needs and requests to Him so you will not be anxious. Again, if in this little breakfast room your child asks you for an egg, would you give him a scorpion? Luke chapter 11 verse 13 says, If you then know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? I think that's why the candy that Mickey Mouse brought in in my dream, came through his eyes, for the eyes are the window to the soul. Your eye is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. When your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. The Holy Spirit, like the eyes, being the window to the soul, brings life and light and illuminates our continental breakfast, so to speak. (laughs) Psalm 119, 130 says, The unfolding of God's words gives light. Let us continue to read God's word for nourishment, asking the Holy Spirit to give us what we need so we will be filled up with the sweetness and light and sustaining and strengthening bread that time with our Lord provides for us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.